Hey guys, Tronicle here, and welcome to a new series that I've been saying I was going to do for what? A month now? Two months? I don't know, but yeah, I am joined by Great Creator. Hello. And Gladiator. Yo, yo, yo! Okay, and we are going to be starting a podcast series. Now, more info on... I'm going to do a separate video where I talk about how you can be a part of this series, but for now... We're just going to be talking about Lego news, move, Marvel movies, whatever stuff that has something to do with the channel, kind of. So, on, so um, when it comes to Lego news, the new sets for August have just been released. Are they appearing in your stores or like? Yep. Great, great. Um, I'm... great. Are, are they appearing in our stores? Um. Yeah. For I saw actually I saw your Instagram and the, you got you got Harry Potter figures. Yeah. Um. My brother just said yes. The sets are appearing in the stores. Yeah. Uh, yes. Our stores they are appearing in, and yeah. What? Um. Do you know, guy? Do you guys like what sets do you think you're gonna be getting or like? I'm um, definitely gonna be picking up some of the Harry Potter yes, stuff. Yes. Every I, I think like, everyone is. I like the Rocket Raccoon and the Groot Brickhead combo. That looked pretty dope. Oh, yeah, um, that. I forgot about that. I'll probably be getting more Harry Potter blind bags and yes. some more Unikitty blind yeah. bags. Oh, yeah, the That's Unikitty fun. blind bags. I've already got three. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I saw it. Did, did you make a video? Oh, no, no, that was a different, that was a different YouTuber. I don't remember. Someone they made were, a video on them. They were in a video. They were in a video. Oh, yeah, sorry. That, I guess that was you. But I forgot who, I saw someone make a video on them. Yeah, me too. Yes, but um, for me, I need to get. I don't. I gotta be honest. I don't know anything about Harry Potter. I don't know the characters' names. The guy who Ooh. has the headphone hair piece. Damn, I, mean, I don't know. Neville. I guess. Bottom. Sure. Let's go with that. Neville. I need his hair piece because it looks a lot like my own hair, and I love. I want to have. I have really. I I wear headphones a lot, so. Yeah. I'll mail it to you. Yeah, no, here, I, I got it. Like, I was, like, I was at, um, there's, like, this store by us. I won't say the name, but it's one of those, like, one, like, there's only, like, it's one of those, it's, like, one of the, the like, it's not, like, a huge company. It's just, like, a one-off kind of, like, little toy store. But it had, yeah, like, yeah. it had legit seven boxes of the Harry Potter things, or Harry Potter figures. So, That's a few. I, yeah, and I, but they were closing in, like, ten minutes. So I only had, like, ten minutes to field them up. So I was looking for the guy, but I didn't have enough time, so... But yeah, I'm gonna go back, and I'm yeah, I'm definitely gonna be getting the Harry Potter figures. Yep. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Uh, Star Wars stuff also looks pretty cool. Yeah, I'm not a Star Wars guy, so I yeah. Yep. Uh, so yeah. Yeah. Um. Like, like, yeah. Like, like the only Star Wars things that really I have interest in are the buildable figures because of pieces. Yeah. We're losing those too. Like. Wait, we are. I'm pretty yeah. sure they're canceling them. Yeah. What, then what are they gonna? What like what, what's gonna? What are they gonna do for construction? They might bring like, back. I don't think they're, they're gonna, gonna do anything. Have, That's a sad thing. They're gonna have some kind of um. Okay, here actually here. So we have something. So basically, I'm, if you search up Bionicle reboot, something comes up. A brick set article comes up. It says um, Bionicle reboot 2019, and it's probably fake. But I don't know. There's like a five percent chance it's not. It's hope. It's hope. It's they're, 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 it's probably fake just to give us hope, just so it's more painful when it's fake. Lego, okay. you you guys are just... Mm. Yeah. How dare you? Yeah. Your yeah, audio just went weird there. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, it did? It did? I don't know. All right. But uh, uh, as far as other sets and stuff, I... All right. Um. So, uh, Gladiator, I know you're not a Ninjago fan. Great Creator, I know you're a fan. And I got to say, oh, yeah. this wave... I think it's my favorite Ninjago wave. What what about you? Um, I recently um got a job, so now I've got a lot of money, and I'm thinking I'm gonna get the biggest set, the Dragon Pit. Oh yeah, that set's awesome. Like I like it's that's a so set where cool. like I like like I know it's like it's one of those things where it's like I want it, but I know that my priorities should be buying more um CCBS stuff for um parts for my series. But yeah, like if I had the money, I definitely get it, and possibly for Christmas. I don't know, who knows? But yeah, that's an awesome. You guys set. saw that the 2019 Lego is a um almost a reboot. It's basically all the sets from the original. Oh wave. yeah, did you hear about that? The new Ninjago wave next year. It's gonna be like rebooted sets. I'm looking forward to them. Yeah, I just watched Just Too Good's video yeah, yesterday. Yeah, I did too. Shout out to yeah. Just Too Good. I don't, I don't know. You're probably not watching. Shout this, out but... to, yeah, Just Too Good. 
But um, and yeah. Mangar Productions. He made a video on it too. Oh, he did. I didn't even. Yeah, like. Twenty nineteen like, rumors. I love. I love being subscribed to all the like Lego channels because whenever a Lego news comes out, just like five videos on that piece of news just in a row just come up. Yeah, Brick Show. I can't believe us. that they got canceled. Oh yeah, Brick Show. Did you hear about that? Yeah, that was awful. Like they're amazing. So. They were like that first channel that did stuff. Yeah, I mean, I was one of the first I watched for sure. I don't know about you guys. Yeah. I watched them way back when. I stopped watching them a couple years ago, yeah, though, same. but still, the nostalgia of watching their old videos is now yes. gone. I'm like, this is yeah. always going to be burned in my head. Here on Fall Brick Show. Like, that's always going to be locked in my head, yeah. just how they said it every time. Oh, God, nostalgia. So, yep. um, yeah. So, speaking of nostalgia, they're not really, all right, that was a bad segue, but. Lego Movie 2 trailer. Uh, what did you guys think on that? I'm oh my gosh, they it. ruined Lego movies forever. Wait, how? Wait, what? How? It just looks terrible. It looks like a 10-minute TV show. How? <laughs> Dude, it looks awesome. How, for me, I don't know. What Great creator, what do you think? I think it looks awesome. I'm yes. looking forward to all the characters returning in this new world. Yes. I will, Also, all right, here. Because I'm a sucker for the color teal, did, did you guys see the images for the new sets? Yeah. Yeah, I saw a couple of them, yeah. Yeah, did you see the one set for the villain Sweet Mayhem? Like, literally, the whole, it's like, teal's the primary color, I mean, white's a secondary color, and I've never seen that before. Hmm. My favorite Lego color is definitely sand green, and I'm oh, really? really hoping there's something with a bunch of that. Did you the get Lego the um, Ninjoid Mech Dragon, then? No. Oh, you didn't? Bro, that set has sand green CCBS stuff. I know. You should get. You I'm, should get. You can probably find it for like thirty almost. bucks now. Probably, yeah. I'm yeah. Gonna check on eBay and Bricklink and see how yeah. much it's. Worth I would check Amazon because I don't know about you guys, but for me, it seems like Amazon always puts stuff on sale first. Does that include yeah. the Fire Temple from 2011? Oh yeah, yeah, the Fire Temple. I remember one of my friends had it, and I just like stand there and I would just like drool at it because I wanted it so bad. Yeah. I I went over to my one friend's house um, at the end of the school year. Mm -hmm. He had it. I didn't know he had it, and it was just so awesome. Yeah. Plot twist. I it's have... actually the same friend, and we actually were like neighbors this whole time. Dun, dun, dun. dun. I have the um, <laughs> original Y-Wing, TIE Fighter, and X-Wing. What the orig What do you mean the original? Like, what year? I'm sorry, the 2012. All right, that's not really original, man. You got to... That was Wait, like... You have the, the 2012 um, uh, TIE Fighter? Yeah. Yeah, I've got that one as well. Yeah, I like it. Oh, I have the one that 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 that's a vehicle. I I have the one that also comes with minifigures. I have that one. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, back on Lego Movie Two. Yeah, I think it looks awesome. I don't know what Gladiator. I don't know why you don't think. I gotta be honest though. As much as I love Ninjago, the movie was. Uh, oh God. Exactly. There. Every Lego movie since the original one has been slightly worse. And this one, the trailer just, like, ruined Le Lego movies for me forever. Gladiator? I mean, I'd like to argue the fact that the Lego Batman movie is the best movie in existence. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Actually, all right, I got to be honest. I think my favorite moment is in the movie is when Killer Croc, he's, like, underwater. And he's like, I did something. <laughs> A oh, feeling you... of accomplishment. Yeah, it was like because he didn't do anything in Suicide Squad. <laughs> oh awesome. yeah, <laughs> it was awesome. But yeah, I gotta say the original is still probably the best. Lego Batman. It was. I liked it. I loved all the references, but the ending. Oh my god, the ending. Yeah, it it seems like they turned it like too like. How do you put this? Children's story, like... Yes! Oh, my God. You complete me! That's an actual quote from The Dark Knight, but they made it into, like, a sissy... I, I mean, I hate to argue with movies because I do like that movie, but, like... Yeah. And The Dark Knight. What did you think on a Greek? What did you think about the Lego Batman movie? Did you... What about or the ending, or...? Um... I thought it was good. good yeah. Enough. Uh, I, I gotta... really like the movie in general, so I just... Thought it was all good. Yeah, you like, see, yeah, like the Christian. The, like, you, you can go. Sorry, you go. Christian Bale's like three Batman movies were like the best DC movies like ever. Yeah, I think so, we all know that at this point. Um, I'm just gonna say like they kind of ruined. I mean, 
just that you complete me line, they kind of like messed up, but everything else in that movie I liked. I gotta say though, with Lego Batman movie, I was like, I just fought this. So an hour ago, you were referencing the first Batman movie ever, and now you're make you're saving the world by connecting together and pulling. I was like, what? How? Like how do? How is this the same movie? I think it's the yeah. meant to make no sense. Like none I know of all of Lego movies. Like I feel like that was kind of too much though. Like that was a little too ridiculous. I don't know. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But yeah, this new Lego movie, I'm really excited for it. I'm I'm excited to see what it's going to be like. And yeah, I'm probably not going to see it opening day like I did Infinity War. But yeah, I'm probably going to see it at some point. Yeah, so. good opener for Marvel movies. Yes, Let's Arya, do you want to segue um, into that? Or does anyone have anything else they want to say on Lego movies? Or Yeah, Marvel. I think Infinity War. Let's start with Marvel. All right, let's just go to Marvel then. Yeah, Infinity War. Are we going to do spoiler? I mean, every, I, all right, at this point, I feel like... If We've you, already spoiled the Lego Batman movie. I mean, we spoiled that. <laughs> all right, here. I think at this point, if you haven't seen Infinity War, I doubt you even care enough to, like, watch it. So we could spoil it. Loki guy dies. Gamora dies. Oh. Black Panther. They all die. Everyone dies. Did you guys know that? Um... I haven't seen it yet. Oh. I'm kidding. Yes. Yeah, just, just, I say it all just at the end. I haven't seen it. You guys know that um the two African American characters, um two of the three got um like wiped out, and the last one almost died in the Civil War movie. So, so what about it? Um, are they like I I don't know. Just you, a fact. Are you getting like so, are you getting like social political about this, bro? No, Here no. at Tyrannical 545, we do not discriminate, so I'm afraid you're going to have to leave. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> all right, but yeah, Infinity War. Awesome movie. Just all right. Yeah, just really good, far yeah. right awesome. I got to say, though, looking back, I got, like, I think after 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 I went to camp, which you guys, which, every, which everyone, if you're subscribed to me, you know what I did. I think... After I went to camp, after all the four Ragnarok references that I was a part of, I think if I like four Ragnarok. My top three are definitely Infinity War, four Ragnarok, and then Civil War. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'd, I'd put um the Guardians movies, Ant Man, Thor Ragnarok, and um Infinity War. I think are the best. All right, yeah, yeah. Then Guardians of the Galaxy, the original, would be number four for me. Yeah, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was awesome. I, I like the original Avengers movie. How about oh, that? Yeah, yeah, I feel like like the thing with the original Avengers movie is like looking back, it really it's a didn't little cheesy. Or it also didn't really didn't have the best plot. It was more of just the wow factor of just seeing all these heroes brought together. Yeah. yeah it wasn't really a story, it was more It was of just a... but yeah, still as that wow Action. factor, I mean it delivered it pretty well. Yeah. And looking back, if you look at the costumes of some of the people at like uh, that's a really minor Avengers. thing. Like, I don't, that's a really minor thing, dude. I don't, I don't think like I'm just saying like that's a really. Yeah, minor I agree. Thing. I agree. But if you compare the costumes from the first Avengers movie to the newest Infinity War, um, you'd be a little bit disappointed with Avengers, the Avengers movie. Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> But actually, I, here, I guess. On, on the topic of Marvel, um, you guys, you guys may know, you guys may remember post credit scene for Spider Man Homecoming. Right? Yeah, I have um, not seen Spider Man Homecoming. Wait, you haven't seen Spider Man Homecoming? No, I was waiting for it to come on um, Netflix, but it's not on Canadian Netflix at all. Oh, it isn't. Nope. All right, here I will not spoil it then. That, but yeah, you, I was gonna say. Spoil it. What? I know what happens in it. Oh, all right. So basically, what? in the end credit scene, you know that Vulture is in the prison, and then Scorpion, he's in the prison too, and he's like, you know, I know some guys on the outside who'd love to meet our little spider friend. That's referring to the Sinister Six, and I hope the Sinister Six make an appearance at some point. Like that would be so oh, yeah. cool. You guys know Sinister cool Six on the big screen. Yes, that'd be so cool. Like the thing yeah. with Scorpion though is. And this is my same problem with Black Manta from DC. Their costumes and designs are definitely, they're definitely like more comic book designs. And I, I disagree, but I'm with the like, Black like, have you guys seen, like, have you guys seen Ant-Man's like comic book design? Yeah. Yeah. With yeah. all the rings on his head. Yeah. Like you can tell why they changed it. That would look kind of ridiculous if they, yeah. It'd look excessive. Yes. Actually, speaking yeah. of Aquaman, I have a funny story. So me and my dad, we were watching How It Should Have Ended videos. Shout out to them. They're awesome. 
Oh yeah. But uh, um, yeah, great career. You told me you watch you watch how it should have ended, right? A lot, yeah. They're pretty great. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. But yeah, so we were watching how it should have ended videos, right? And an ad for um, an ad for uh Aquaman movie came, or the trailer came up as an ad for the Aquaman movie. And my dad, he just turns to me and goes, "Aquaman, Aquaman, Aquaman." And he just looks back. It was pretty funny. He was like, "Is he really getting his own movie?" It was pretty funny. But yeah, seriously though, like. Really, Aquaman, like... DC is running so low on ideas. They I mean, finally... no, no, like, if, if my, my, in my opinion, this is the biggest problem with DC. They have ideas. They're just not doing anything good with them. Their stories aren't that great for any of their movies. All right, yeah, like... fine, good point. But, like, seriously, though, like, Batman ah. versus Superman, that could be so cool. Like what yeah. if they what if they did like an Iron Man versus Captain America move? Like imagine how awesome that would be. I mean I know that was Civil, Civil War, War, but what if they? I mean like what if they like just just made like a standalone movie of just that? Marvel would actually like make it like really good. You know DC on the other hand, no, we need to bring in Doomsday for no reason because we have to. We're so desperate to make our own universe, we have to bring in Doomsday. And Wonder Woman. And Wonder Woman. That, that, I got me. That was kind of cool, actually. Wonder Woman yeah, showing up. That was kind of cool. Like, but still, Wonder dude, Woman like, was the best part of that movie. Yeah, I know. Like, I love, I love the best part about Batman versus Superman is Wonder Woman. Yeah. 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 And that movie was pretty great. Yeah. But yeah, it was still yeah, still that movie. I mean, actually, yeah, wait, did you, did you, did you just say did you just say Batman versus Superman was pretty great? No, I said um Wonder Woman. Oh, movie. Wonder Woman. Oh, yeah, here, wait. Has, has anyone here... Who here has seen Wonder Woman? I haven't. Me. It's so great. Great it's creator. Have you like... seen Wonder Woman? Not yet, no. Yeah, no, it's I actually haven't. It's like... It's a really, really good DC movie. I heard the it's effects like... are, like, horrible. Yeah, I agree with that. It was, like, yeah. I heard that it was, like, the writing was good, but the effects are really bad. Eh. eh. I mean... You you can't really argue because looking at Batman vs Superman Doomsday literally looks like a big blob of like dismantled sand. So dismantled um, sand? What? They're they're trying their best. All right. All right. They're, they're, they're trying their best. They're they're it. Uh, at the, that's a decent way of putting it. Uh. Yeah. Great uh, creator. Would you say they're trying their best? They could hire better writers. Yes, they, uh, yeah, God, yes, they could. I think that the director's pretty awesome, though. All right, fine, yeah, fine, fine, fine. Okay, well, uh, when it comes to DC movies, most of the time, at least, like, like, the camera work, at least, is decent. And, like, like the thing with DC is you like the character, like, everyone likes Batman, but it's, like, they can't do Batman like that. It's just, why? Like, I don't get it. Like, how DC are, like, failing so badly. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yep. Yep. Um. But actually, yeah. moving on to uh, just random movies. Incredibles two. Did you guys see that? Yep. I. How good is it? Would you say? Um, I'd say that it was better than the original, except for the villain. The villain yeah. was so weak. Oh my god. My friend said the villain was weak as well. He saw it on opening day. Oh really? I saw it like I think I saw it like the third day it came out. My dad fell asleep for the whole thing. I was going to see it, but uh, then I got my job, so I was busy. And then the oh, only yeah. first day I had off, it was out of theaters. Oh, wow. Wait, it's out of theaters already? In where I live, yeah. Oh, really? It's out of theaters here, too. Oh, it is? I didn't even know it was. My friend, um, one of my friend, um... One of my friends was like, uh, one of my friends gave me a rundown of like how long the um, movies stay in theaters. So, yeah, I should know it's that. It's like... But... It depends how good it does. Yeah, really. You know, you want to hear something sad? Here, wait. Have you guys seen Justice League? Yeah. Hey, great creator. Have you seen Justice League? I've not seen Justice League. All right, well, uh, you... no. But if you spoil it, I wouldn't care. All right, yeah, I wouldn't care either. Ah. I haven't seen it, but I. But have you actually seen like any clips from it? I've seen the entire movie. I... Why? Oh wait, great creator. Have you seen clips I from it? Seen any clips? The trailer made it look. The trailer made it look really good, but I'm fairly sure the trailer only the only said yeah. nothing else. All right, but yeah, so I'm um, Gladiator. 
you got to be honest. The it's the movie is like literally it the movie is basically a CGI like animated movie just with live action like characters in it. Like everything is CGI. And it yeah, literally I'll be honest. it literally looks like a CGI like the best CGI animated film ever just with um just with like live action characters thrown on. Like I think Oh, they, I'll be honest. Yeah. Like I think they should have just gone all the way and make a CGI um animated Justice League. Like, that would have been awesome. Yeah, who needs what's his okay, name? But um Who needs Gal Gadot? Disney's right? making uh Lion King live action. Oh my so. god, yes. Lion King Alright, here actually you know what? I take particular offense to that. You guys wanna know why? Why? Lion King is my favorite movie of all time, so I really take why? offense to them doing that. Hey, any way for you to, them to make money, that's what they do nowadays. We've got to have money. Okay, but why Why Lion King live action? It's yeah, out of all of the movies. Why Lion King? It's like, I don't, I don't get it. You're right. It's just out of all the movies you could have, why? It was like Finding Dory. Out of all the movies you could have made a sequel out of, why Finding Nemo? Yeah, that's true. Speaking, of, speaking of which, unpopular opinion, Finding Dory was a bad movie. It was terrible. What did you think, great creator? It wasn't, wasn't a bad movie. I liked it. I didn't like the end scene though at all. All right, fine, 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 fine. It wasn't. It was like, as a movie, it was okay, but as a sequel, it was. I hated it. All right, here, actually, here. Do you want to hear what my biggest unpopular opinion is? Like, out of all my unpopular opinions, I think this is the most unpopular, right. unpopular opinion I have. Are you guys ready? Yep. Okay. I hated Inside Out. And this is why. So, I know that... So, there was a South Park episode called Raisins. And it had the same plot as Inside Out. And it had the... Or not the same plot. It had the same message in the end as Inside Out. And not only did it do it in one fifth of the time. Not only did it do it on, what, like, ten years or Not ten. Yeah, wait, no. Was it ten? No, no, no. Like, uh eight years earlier but in my opinion it did it a million times better because it didn't like it didn't cram it behind a million metaphors like he literally says you need sadness to in or in order to be happy and it's you understand it better so and inside out like like ev so many people call inside out the best disney pixar movie and all i need to do is just watch a clip from bing Bing Bong or whatever the imaginary creature was, and I just I'm like, how how is this the best the the best Disney movie? Rants I with Tyrannical. I'm done ranting, but seriously, I really didn't like that movie. What is your favorite Pixar movie overall? That's a tough one. I think I gotta go. Uh, I can, I'm gonna have to think on this. Like it for me, it like changes every like every year. It changes, but currently, because I'm so in, I've I've because I've really gotten into superheroes so much um these last few years, I gotta really say Incredibles, man. They are the original Incredible or bo honestly both of them, both Incredibles movies. Okay, cool. Um, oh, Gladiator, what's your favorite? Ooh, um, Wally -E was like the first movie I ever saw, so oh, really? I have to go Wally. -E. Great Wally creator, pretty good. I like that one. Yes, great creator. Uh, what's yours? I really liked Toy Story. Oh yeah. yeah oh wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I really like Toy Story. Toy what's Story. a Toy Story? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> okay. Millions of subscribers just kill Toronto. All yeah, I just watch all my. Yeah, I saw actually. I think I I saw this um. Thing. Oh wait, no, no, no. It was something. Sorry, wait. I, I thought I saw something that related. I think I saw like a funny Toy Story thing, but I'm gonna have to remember. I'm sorry. I don't. I think I'm gonna have to remember what it was. But I saw like some funny Toy Story meme. I forgot what it was, but yeah, it wasn't a meme. It was like a like a. I don't remember what it was, but yeah. If I remember it, I'll tell it in a future episode. Have you guys seen Coco? Coco, no, but I heard it was amazing. I. It was, really I, good, it was yeah. okay. It was okay. I liked it. It's I heard honestly it. One I, of my favorites. It's so good. Yeah, I heard it was amazing. I heard that actually. I remember when it first came out. Everyone was comparing it to. You guys remember Book of Life? Yeah. 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 Everyone was comparing it to that. Book of mm -hmm. Life. By the way, this is another little Disney pet peeve I have. Like, all right. So ever everyone knows how Frozen was like the big marketing juggernaut of all movies. 
Yeah. Yeah. All right. Someone make a clip. Someone make it. Someone make a clip of the like Juggernaut scene from the one X Men movie with like a with like Elsa's face on it, where he just goes, "I'm the Juggernaut." Okay, no, no, I'm sorry. You you guys get that? You, you guys get that reference? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. That's my problem when I make a reference. I have to like make sure. I'm sorry. All right, but yeah. So everyone knows how how um Frozen was like a big marketing Juggernaut and everything. Let's be yeah. honest. If it came out in a year later. No one would have remembered it. Like, what good movies were there in 2013? The animated, not not live action. Iron Man Free was good, but what like good animated movies were there in 2013? Didn't Frozen come out in 20? 20... Oh no, you're right. 2013. Lego Movie came out in 2014, like two months after. Like, I'm serious. So if Frozen came out in 2014, no one would have remembered it. It was just because no other good animated movies came out in 2013. That's the only reason anyone remembers Frozen. Like, I don't hate it because it's like, I, I don't hate it because I, I'm not, I don't want to be like one of those little kids who's like, eh, princess movie, eh. Because I got to be honest, Beauty and, and the Beast, that's an amazing film. So I don't want to be one of those guys who are just, eh, princess movie, bad. But no, I'm saying it's a bad movie just because, I'm saying because I think it's just an average movie. And the only reason anyone remembers it is because of the time it came out. I sound like I hate Disney at this point. I don't hate Disney. They're my favorite animation company. But yeah, yeah, I just have some pet peeves. Honestly, I'd like to work for Disney when I'm older as, like, an animator or, like, a lawyer or something. Like, I'll be 100% honest. Disney's a lawyer. I'll be 100% honest. My goal in life You can sue DreamWorks. You can can sue DreamWorks now. You should aim for that, Gladiator. What? You can sue DreamWorks when you're older. You should should go for that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I just... My goal in life is to be on, like, one of those Marvel, like... You know, like, all the people that are on it, like, the ending thingy, Mababber? My goal is to be on there. That's, like, my goal in life. That's your mission in life. To yes. the Marvel end credits? Oh, yeah. The end <laughs> credits that... Like, I'm serious. When I was waiting for the end credits scene in Infinity War, um, we were, were, like, we got up and we, like, went to, the like, the exit and we just stood there for ten minutes, like, when is this going to end? Well, do you know how many people it took to make that movie? Yeah, I know, I know, but still, I was just like, I was, yeah, but still. I love how it was like, there was one thing, and it was like, sound designer, executive sound designer, backup sound designer, backup <laughs> designer. I was like, but why? I was like, what? <laughs> Fun you fact, need... one in every 100 New Zealanders was a part of Lord of the Rings. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah. That's pretty, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh wait, great, great, great creator! Do you watch South Park? I do not watch South Park now. Oh wait, so you do? Wait, you do or you don't? So your audio like cut I, out. I don't. All right, all right. So there was a South Park. If any my anyone who watches South Park watching this, you may know of a South Park Lord of the Rings parody episode, and you'll I know that it's one of the of best that. episodes in the whole series. But yeah, so anyone watching that, then yeah. But, um, yeah, so I don't know where we may be wrapping up soon, but any other topics you guys want to close on? Um, well, great creator, um, what, is there any, like, other collabs that you'd like to do? Or that you're planning, or what's going on for your channel, uh, channel, great creator? Um, Currently, I'm working on, um, wrapping up the Rakshi Wars. Yes. So... When that's over, I will be looking for plenty of um, voice actors for a uh, project. Ooh, um, me, me, me. Okay, okay, well, okay, well, um, yeah, seriously though, uh, if you need voice actors, we can voice act. Maybe. Yeah, I'll, I'd yeah, love yeah, the voice actors. Uh, I may be doing um, in the future, top fives of some sort, maybe. Oh yeah, I'm gonna. By the way, here's plan. I'm actually gonna. I actually have a top five list planned that will probably be coming out this week. It's like, okay. this is just so, yeah, stay tuned for that. But, yeah. Sure. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Are you going to be like, watchmojo.com, top 10 celebrities who are trying way too hard to stop balding. <laughs> top 10 anime chefs, top 10 anime weapons, top 10 anime beds. Do either of you guys watch anime at all? No, no. I do not. 
Do you? Neither do I. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No. I actually. Yeah. I love the most. I. All right. Here again. We're going back to South Park. If anyone knows the anime South Park episode, oh my God, it's the funniest thing. So they basically have a song of which they quote can they can put in any anime intro and it will fit. And there's a YouTuber who actually did that. And it actually like they made a song. It's basically just every single anime song in a nutshell. It's pretty just so perfect. <laughs> But anyway, well, actually, great creator. I forgot to. I wanted to actually ask you this. Um, once Roxy Wars and once your the, all the series that you have going on now sums up, are you gonna start a new stop motion series, or you know what you have planned? Um, when leg- when um uh, before Chima ends, I have no plans of anything to replace it yet. There probably will be something. All right, yeah. Ooh. When Ninjago the Infinite Cave ends, there will be a Ninjago movie. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. It'll be, I have plans for about 15 minutes long, hopefully. Mm-hmm. It'll be a side. Okay, um, do either of you guys um follow LDD Productions on Instagram? No, because uh, my Instagram, my Instagram has like all my personal info on it. So I normally okay, don't, yeah. I don't follow like channel stuff, but I don't do channel stuff on it. So yeah, guys, actually, I have an Instagram, but it's not, it's for like my, it's not, it has like my personal info and stuff on it. So yeah, I may do a channel Instagram in the future, uh, guys. So yeah, if you guys want to follow that, once I start it up, got to get those followers, man. Okay. So LDD Productions made a post called a side character story. It was just an edit. And I asked him, would it be okay if I made a video out of this? And he said, sure, just go ahead. So I'm doing that. Hopefully. It will come out in October. Oh, nice. Nice. And Speaking of which, that, actually, I um um, hey, you, you can you can finish. After that, I have a second season planned, and that's all. Wait, second season for what again? Ninjago. Oh, all right, okay. Because I didn't know if you were doing the movie of an. All right. For me, um, I said this, actually, I think I mentioned this in a couple videos, but I think I should probably just close this now. So, Bionicle Plagued, that's going to be ending within these next few months episode. I think we're, Gladiator, I don't even remember. Were, were we going to do six or seven episodes? I don't even remember. I think we were going to do six in two parts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's like going to be six finale. full episodes, and then the finale is going to be, like, two parts. So, yeah, that's going to be ending this month. And then, um, like, November, December, then all of next year, that's going to be new se- or, um, basically season two of Bionicle Plague. It's going to be called Tyrannical Chronicles. And then there's going to be a season two, and then probably not, but possibly a season three of that. And you're, there's going to be a new villain and new like new villains for that. And yeah, Bionicle Plague is going to be kind of like a prologue to that. And you'll see how it's going to tie into it. So yeah, that's going to be coming up. And then, you know, Toronto Reviews, my kind of main series, kind of main series. Or I know that that's what some people, Cough, Cough, Creepy Bow, Tube Stalker, I know that that's all they watch me for. So yeah, that's going to be continuing. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to, that series, I don't know how long I'm going to keep it running. But I'm going to start taking suggestions for Bionicle stop motions because I've kind of gone through all the, like, obvious... Like, when you say Bionicle stop motion, I've kind of gone through, like, all the obvious ones. So I'm going to start taking suggestions. So if anyone has any suggestions for Bionicle stop motions that I could review, then, yeah, just tell me, and, yeah, I will possibly review it. All right, so are we going to wrap things up? Gladiator, how about... uh, Gladiator, actually, are you going to be starting your own channel soon, or what about that? Possibly. It's a big possibly. And yeah, right now, right now, if you guys don't know Gladiator, he's one, he, me and we write, he's, he's the, like, assistant writer for, but, um, for Bionicle Plague, and so, yeah. I he's, have come up with a lot of it. Yeah, he's come up I with hope. a lot of stuff for it, so yeah, if you want to, so yeah, if you want to just credit him for, I'm going to actually start doing credits in the episode, so I'll credit you there, and yeah, so I guess that's Probably. all. Um, yes, actually. Does your Bionicle Plague exist in the same universe as the canon Bionicle universe? Well, that's actually... Uh, that. So about that, it's happening like a thousand years later. So like the Toa are already dead and it, and stuff. So, and we're just going to pretend... We're going to pretend that like... We're going to pretend that like Makuta, the Makuta robot thing... 
Or actually, no, no. So actually, yeah. Wait, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was thinking. For some reason, I thought Makuta won in the end. No, we're gonna say that. Yeah, this is how we're, or we're not. We're gonna say. I'm not making this up on the fly, even though it may sound like I am. I'm not making this up on the fly. I was. I was gonna say that like it happens. It's happening. Yeah, like thousands of years later. So yes, it is in the canon like storyline. But, um, it's, it's, yeah, it's not really gonna, like, there's not gonna be, like, characters from it. Like, there's gonna be, like, Rakshi and, like, Bo Rock in it, but there's not gonna be, like, official characters yet, actually. Because they're actually, you'll, you guys, there's gonna be an official character showing up later on, you'll see. And then, as for, like, other canons, it's part of a longer storyline of a multiverse for a YouTuber called Chryson, the one and only. Our storylines, we're, like, connected, and we're gonna be trying to expand that later on. And, okay. yeah. So, that's pretty much how the universe for that works. Cool. Yes. So, um, we're gonna be trying... So... Sorry, what? Sorry, what? What, what, what? what? analogy on my part. What? Yes. Yes, sorry. Cool. Well, you're all, well, glad you're here. Be quiet, great creator. What? Sorry, your audio just, like, blacked out. What? I said, cool, a very good analogy by Great Curator. Yes, all right. I'm, yeah, I did. All right, I'm sorry for that. But yeah, so we're going to be hoping, so we're. when do you guys think we're going to be uploading these? Like once a month, once two months, once a year, once a millennial, once a space time? When, when do you guys think we're going to be uploading them? Every 6,000 years. Yes, that's a good way of putting it. No, seriously. Uh, we're probably going to be doing this like once a month, possibly. And yeah, like that I said, I'm... Good, yeah. Yeah, that's a good estimate, I guess. You guys think that's a good estimate? Yeah. So, Definitely I'd just like that. to bring up... So what? What? I'd like to bring up one... Um, Cause I'm glad that... Your audio is, like, so much higher than Great Creator, so, uh, your Great Creator, can you say that again? I don't know what I said. All right, neither <laughs> do I. All right, here, so, glad Gladiator, you, you, you can finish this off here. All right, so, have you guys ever noticed that, um, the... Tyrannical 545, some of the pictures that he's taken in, like, the light box, it's kind of looking like, um, Tehran, Tehran is taking a selfie. What? Is it... How is it? Okay, here, fine. Oh, it looks like stalker he... pointed the way that his arms out. out of the frame. It yeah, looks like uh, it is, yeah. It's totally not because I'm, like, I'm, like, too lazy to take the shot, like, the whole thing in the frame, but, yeah, it's totally not because that. It, it that's... looks like he's taking a selfie. Yeah, okay, yeah, maybe, maybe not. But yeah, that's not what I intended. What I intended is it would be like, I don't know what I intended, just a pose, I guess, I don't know. But yeah, we're going to be trying to do these once a month, and I'm going to make a video later today, or tomorrow, possibly, if, I, if I'm really lazy. No, I'm not, no, it'll, it'll be later today, which I'll say how you guys can be, um, yeah, can, you can be a part of this series, and yeah, I hope you all, en hope you all enjoyed, and yeah, great creator, gladiator, anything you want to say? As closing statement, um, Great creator over and out. Yes. All right, gladiator. Peace out. I I really don't know. All right. <laughs> Just all right. Goodbye, guys.